If people were to describe me as a boss, I could pretty much tell you they're going to say that I'm a maniac. Uh, they're also going to tell you that I'm passive aggressive. <laughs> they are definitely going to tell you that I'm scatterbrained. Uh, they're definitely going to tell you, hopefully, that I'm a little bit lovable and that I treat everyone pretty well. They are going to verbally destroy me as a boss. Who doesn't rip on their boss, right? It's so much fun. It's you're the easy target. If he has a problem with you and he even remotely let you believe that you don't, it will come up days later out of something else. Like, it, it just, it, it rears his ugly head. He doesn't deal with it in the moment. It comes up like he waits till it piles up and then he explodes on you. It's everybody against me. Always. Nobody really takes my side. They would say I'm very, uh, loud. I've been told, which I don't believe, that I easily fly off the handle. I don't think that's true. I think if you give me a reason to fly off the handle, it doesn't make it easy. Like, then you had it coming, but that's what I've been told. John has no brain to mouth filter. John will do anything, say anything. John likes to come to work dressed like Lady Gaga. He likes to be really flashy and in the type of business that we're in that doesn't always work. John just does not like to be told what to do. When you work with a client, it could be any client, and when they are cheap and they are hagglers and they have their own set, like when they order vases online, you have to leave things up to the caterer. You cannot tell me that you are going to order or you're going to get the wine or you're going to buy the vases and you got that. Like, you, you don't got that. Like, that's where things go wrong. Like, you're leaving an area of opportunity open for things to go wrong. And you know what? It reflects in the caterer and it makes us look bad. Like, we get paid to do a job. Don't tell us how to do our job. And we will get along just fine. I am all for the client and your vision. But sometimes your vision's wrong and you have to be, you know, regulated. This job is like a roller coaster. Some days you come in here, you want to scream, you can vomit, it's happened, we vomited coming in here in the morning, um, but at the end of the day, we're all friends and we have a good time. I always say it's Saint Felicia, like Felicia gets away with everything, like today me and Felicia grabbed Starbucks before we came here and I got reprimanded because I came late, but Felicia's fine, he's like, oh for you there's bagels inside, it's good, I'm like, really? So. Felicia, she's just, she, she's like the holy grail of catering. She's driven, she's ambitious. We went to culinary school together and we pretty much get each other more than anyone else. She regulates, she is like, we have, what's tomorrow's buffet? It is two o'clock, I'm trying to be up by five. I have a boxing at six. She's like, come on people. So that's the only thing she could uh, crumble under uh, a lot of stress, she could freak out. I feel like everyone should take vacation whenever they feel like they should want to take vacation. It shouldn't be necessarily planned. We call him an international gay, and <laughs> he likes to take it worldwide. The Caribbean, Puerto Rico, um, Dominican Republic. I've been to Mexico, I've been to France, Italy, Spain, UK. Middle East, two countries in the Middle East, and I frequent Australia once a year. Mario is so quick to be like, Australia in December, I'm leaving. And when you keep saying things like that every day all week, yeah, you know, it creates a, a little bit of a disharmony amongst your boss. You might not want to give him the vacation, but Frank will give the vacation. But that's where I uh, give my digs to Mario on the side, just to uh, keep him in line. Pretty much people think I'm Irish, alcoholic, parties too much, but I don't really during the week, but the weekend, like, I get down, you know? We met pretty much when I was a freshman in college and she was a senior in college. We used to go clubbing together. Well, last night I curled my hair and I did shower, but... I didn't wash my hair because I'm like, oh, I'll just go with the second day here, okay, and now it's Medusa realness because it's, it's just like you know what? It's because you didn't sleep last night because you went out all night, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I kind of told her I was an alcoholic a little bit, but 
Because they were like, how would you describe, how would people describe you? Yeah. A drunk, Irish, lush. <laughs> Sad. And I just, you know, I think they make wonderful employees.